I presented today the um, results of the INSIGHT trial. This is the largest a non-interventional observational trial ever conducted in multiple myeloma in total including 4,200 patients and we took a first analysis out of this database um, regarding continuous treatment strategies and how that fits in the real world because the inside trial really covers real world patients we um, saw in an analysis that uh, roughly 40% of our patients in this trial would never uh, be included in interventional clinical trials because they would not fulfill the inclusion or exclusion criteria. So we look here on a totally different patient population than normally captured. What we see is that um, continuous treatment is a paradigm also in the real world. However, it cannot be as stringently applied than uh, we see that in the trial. So we cannot necessarily duplicate what we figured out in the large approval trials. And when we went in the data and looked why those patients discontinued treatment, then we see that adverse events still play a um, important role for discontinuation and one of the biggest hamper is still the peripheral neuropathy. Many patients cannot continue on the regimen due to neuropathy and uh, so this underlines the clear and still urgent need uh, for a convenient and for drugs with a low toxicity profile so that patients with myeloma, so far as the disease is still uncurable, can be kept consistently um, in a dose-intense manner on the treatment they need.